Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing transferring from one work permit to another. What are we talking about here? Well, oftentimes people here in Thailand, they'll get a new job or they'll change employers or they'll want to set up their own business. We see this a lot here in our office. People want to set up their own company. They want to get their own work permit, just deal with all that good stuff themselves. And, you know, what is... What, what's it take to move from one work permit to another? Well, you need to do this very carefully. As we've discussed in other videos, timing on transfer of work permit is very important. Prior employer interacting with them, very important for a smooth transition. And then meanwhile, there's been this sort of outgrowth, if you will, of some of these weird work author, what I call weird, probably not the right word, new, novel, uh, work authorized visas that are sort of out there in the ether. You know, standard business visa and work permit, we've talked about that at length on this channel. But, you know, there's other things. Smart visa, for example, has inherent work authorization. Things like, and then, and then you deal with BOI, which under sort of the one-stop service with them, if you're changing from one employer to another, that can be a rather nettlesome deal if you're, if you're moving from an employer that's under the one-stop system to an employer that isn't, or moving from one that isn't into one that is. It can be a very nettlesome endeavor to transition over from one to the other. And honestly, some of these visas that have this inherent work authorization, the interoperability, if you will, to again transition from it to another work, doc, uh, work authorized legal document, it's almost as if it's kind of designed to be obtuse. So, it's possible, it's definitely possible to move over from one work permit to another. There's a number of formalities associated with that. It's possible to do it without leaving the country. That being said, it's going to be highly driven or highly circumstantially driven. The analysis on how that's exactly going to play out is going to be based on the underlying circumstances in the case. But that being said, and the thing to take away from this video is it can be done. The nuts and bolts of it, especially to those who have no real functionality in the Thai language, it's probably going to be best if you seek the assistance of a legal professional.